For a hundred years at least, humans will need the energy and chemicals traditionally found in fossil oil. But what if oil could be renewable, sustainable, and reduce waste in the process? This is the vision of Lysella, a bridge to a lower carbon future. For almost 10 years, Lysella's pilot facility near Sydney, Australia, has been pioneering the field of hydrothermal upgrading and developed a remarkable and versatile platform called the Catalytic Hydrothermal Reactor, or CAT-HTR. This patented technology converts feedstocks, including biomass residue and purpose-grown energy crops, end-of-life plastics, lignite, and used lube oil into synthetic crude oil, bio-crude, and valuable chemicals. In the CAT-HTR process, we're using water at high pressure and high temperature. So we sort of copy and mimic nature. But what nature would take 200 million years to do, we do in 20 minutes. Biomass has been converted to, to bio-crudes for many years using techniques like pyrolysis. The problem with that is it's unstable. Using the catalytic hydrothermal upgrading with water as the agent of change, we can create stable biocrude that can ship, is not acidic, and is compatible to blend with fossil oil in a conventional refinery. That's the breakthrough. One of the key differentiators of our process is that we do something amazing. We take the hydrogen from the water, and that hydrogen ends up in our product. We do not need to have external hydrogen added, which is a major, major bonus and advantage over every other similar process. We save a lot of costs, we save a lot of plant complexity, and we save a huge amount of greenhouse gases. Here's how it works. A feedstock is processed into a powdered form, then mixed with water to create a slurry. The slurry is heated and highly pressurised. It then enters the CAT-HTR reactors, where chemical transformations take place. The water hydrolyzes the biomass, it cuts it to pieces like a scissors. We are removing the oxygen as carbon dioxide and we are taking some of the hydrogen in the water and move that into our product oil. After about 20 minutes, the reaction is complete. Pressure is released, byproducts are separated, and heat is recycled. The results are valuable chemicals and oil, suitable for immediate use or blending in existing refineries. In the UK, a joint venture with Armstrong Energy is building the first commercial-scale CAT-HTR plant for end-of-life plastics. Project partners will take end-of-life plastics and use them as feedstock for the CAT-HTR plant, keeping them out of landfill. And waste producers will pay them to do it. The fabulous part about this is the raw material is actually a negative cost to us. So I'm taking their product, re-refining it, and selling it back to the same people that are making the plastic bags. So it's a fabulous business model for us because it is just one of these circular economies. And in Prince George, Canada, North America's largest pulp producer, Canfor Pulp, is using Cat HTR to diversify their revenue. We're very excited about the potential opportunity here. A few years back, Camphor Pulp did a worldwide inventory of the technologies available and Lysella stood out. So we've now formed a joint venture where we're going to take their CAT HDR technology and fully integrate it into a craft pulp mill. Our project is going to create renewable crude at a very competitive price to conventional crude. And we're going to have a greater than 80% carbon intensity reduction we reduce the impact and it gives them a brand new revenue stream. This is applicable to any craft pulp mill on the planet. So the exciting thing is, once we've done it with our partner in Prince George, it means we can offer that to the 7,000 pulp mills that exist around the world. 
and with biofuel incentives in North America driving strong interest from oil majors, Lysella is just beginning a global rollout of the game-changing CAT HTR technology. Reducing environmental impact, reducing CO2 emissions and increasing value at the same time. Lysella, a bridge to a lower carbon future.